Hi, I'm Chuck with Pavati Boats. And today I want to talk about our aluminum construction. It's really the bones of the boat and it's what makes Pavati so much different. We built the first all aluminum V-Drive wakeboarding boat over 15 years ago. We're still building today. They've only gotten better and better every year. This is an AL24. It's got a custom aluminum hard top just about ready to go into paint. I figured we'd pull it over here and take a quick look at it and show you guys really the difference between a Pavati and the fiberglass junk that's still being made out there. In a time where I'm seeing every other boat manufacturer build their stuff cheaper and cheaper, more plastic parts, you know, still using crappy fiberglass and using technology from like the 70s, and they brag about every piece of aluminum that they bolt onto the boat from the tower to every little accent pieces. Our entire boat is made out of aluminum. It's aircraft quality aluminum. It's lightweight, much stronger and lighter than fiberglass. It's gonna last forever. Using aluminum, we can do things that you just can't do with fiberglass. If you look at all the sharp lines, clean edges that we have here, it gives it a very unique look to Pavati. The amount of time that we put into these holes really shows. The reason that no one else is doing this is just because of that, the amount of time. There is so much work and real craftsman work. I mean, this is not cheap labor. You have to know what you're doing when you're dealing with aluminum sheet metal. So here we're at the back of this Pavati and I wanted to come to the transom here so that we could see all the different types of aluminum that are involved in making this hole. When it comes to the thickness of the aluminum that we use, it varies all over the place. The thickest part of the boat's gonna be down here, your delta pad, and this is actually an inch thick billet that we start with. And then the rest of the bottom is made out of quarter inch aluminum, which is about as thick as it gets. That's typically reserved for river running boats that are jumping rocks. You know, you see them online, they're pretty popular. So moving on up to the sides, we use 3 16 That's thicker than you're gonna get from most uh, fishing boats, any aluminum boats, that's pretty much overkill. We do it for a few different reasons. One of the reasons is we want, we like real nice straight sides without waves. Then moving on to the interior, you're gonna see a little bit thinner materials used. Eighth inch is probably the primary aluminum that we use. When you look down in here, you can see the different thicknesses that we use for different reasons to save weight and then just make sure it's strong where it needs to be. Another awesome benefit that you get with the aluminum construction is the extra space you get. That we can have real thin, real thin combings and uh, gunnels. Gives you a lot more space on the inside of the boat, but interior space, nobody even compares to us on the interior of the boat. If you look at the interior, the cabin of this boat, everything's aluminum. There's no plastic right down to the dash. I mean, this is all welded aluminum. If you look at the fit and finish on everything, it's just bad to the bone. Everything's fully welded and it's not riveted together or glued or any of that crap. Tower speakers and everything are built into the tower. They're not hanging down like just aftermarket looking pods. And everything's designed real well. It's all one piece when it's all said and done. Super strong, super rigid. Now we're looking at the front of this AL24. Um, and one of the things that just sticks out the most to me anyways is the keel on here. And this thing is over an inch thick of aluminum. I mean, it's way overkill. Uh, that on top of the quarter inch bottom that you've got here, I mean, there's not a wakeboarding boat out here that's built even close to as strong as this thing. I mean, this thing is a battle ax. You can see we jewel the bottom of this boat. This is actually, uh, we have a design patent and a trademark on that. And why we do that to the bottom of our boats is because we expect our clients to use their boats and run them up on the bank or whatever they need to do. This is gonna hide any scuffs or scratches or whatever that you might have in your boat because it's busy, but just another cool feature. With the hole being so rigid, there's zero flex. What that means is when you're driving this boat in rough water through the chop, it just cuts like a hot knife through butter. There's no flex like a fiberglass boat. It's really unbelievable. Another thing that you wanna look at when you're looking at boats in general, but especially aluminum boats, obviously, is just the welds. Look at the quality of the welds we have. Nobody does it better. We've got the best welding equipment, the best welders in the business, and it really shows. These are pieces of art. Every single weld on this boat I'd put my name on. It's freaking awesome, I love this stuff. This is our brass knuckle bow eye. Um, every boat's got a bow eye. It's how you hook your trailer up or tie your boat down. We made a brass knuckle deal out of its little, little billet machine part. Looks sick, just something cool that we do that nobody else does. My name is Mike Roseboro. I am the lead boat welder here at Pavati Marine in beautiful Southern Oregon. I've been in the aluminum boat industry for almost 40 years. What makes a Pavati aluminum boat better than anything else? 
Uh, one of the things we boasted from the start is the all welded aluminum hull. Why aluminum? The corrosion resistance. This boat will never compromise and, and rust. It will never soak up water and rot. For example, a fiberglass boat, the gel coat can crack over time and that compromises the shell of the hull. Water seeps into the wood, gets heavier and starts to rot. That'll never happen with an aluminum hull. Looking around in our Pravati hull, you'll see hours and hours of MIG welding and some TIG welding as well. And what we've done in the recent couple of years is we've incorporated what's called pulse welding technology into our product. That's just a matter of how the electricity is used in the machines. We have brought that over into boat building for us. It enables us to weld 16th inch thick material at one moment and then turn around and weld something that's as thick as this, almost two inches, uh, and still have control of the heat, control of the quality uh, and strength and makes our product even better. The big difference between this boat and like a fiberglass boat, other than just the aluminum, is just the amount of time that we put into these things. I mean, they're just printing those fiberglass boats. These things are built in the United States by master welders that have been building boats their entire lives. There's over a thousand pieces go into one of these boats and there's over 400 hours of welding time alone into one hole. So that's why we're doing it and nobody else is doing it. It's not because uh, fiberglass is better, it's just because it's cheaper to build. You know, you could build a billion of those things. It's like cookie cutters. Because there is so much time into these boats, we can't make very many. So we only make about 40 boats a year. It goes to show how exclusive these boats are. That's the big difference. I just wanted to talk about aluminum. If you want to come check out these uh, boats, come check out our shop, give us a call, see what makes Pavati so much better and so much different than all the rest of the guys out there.